Hello guys, my name's Dustin Fincher. I got a deep voice, Australian accent, and a mustache, so I'll be your narrator. I'm Jackson Stapleton, and I'll be teaching you about how. Okay, so, anyways, see you guys in the flip side. You ready? You ready, mate? Say Kyra. No. Kyra, how'd you change your hair so quick? Are you ready for this, mate? You yeah, might. You quite ready? Good, good. What do you have so far? Oh yeah, me and Jackson's the only two in the group actually working. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jimmy Weeks and I will be talking to you about ecosystem stability. Over time, the structure and function of a healthy ecosystem should remain relatively stable even in the face of disturbance. If a disturbance does alter an ecosystem, <laughs> it should be able to bounce back quickly. Hello mates. All right, so today I'm going to be talking to you about keystone species. So keystone species, you know, that's going to be like the, the, the foundation of an ecosystem. So uh, look at predators for an example, bears, bears, any kind of predator, they eat the smaller things that populate really, really quickly like rabbits or something. A keystone species doesn't always have to be a predator. It could be something like coral, for instance, on Great Barrier Reef. Coral creates housing for all sorts of populations of wildlife in the ocean and uh, marine life and stuff. And without coral, that wouldn't be there. And then smaller fish would be eaten by bigger fish because they don't have anywhere to hide. My name is Kyra Freeman and today I will be educating you on pollution and how it affects the ecosystem. Pollution is a presence in or <laughs> introduction in the environment of a substance or thing that has harmful or poisonous effects. Pollution, air pollution, and biodiversity ecosystems are impacted by air pollution, particularly sulfur and nitrogen. And ground level ozone, as it affects our ability to function and grow less plant cover, this means less filtering capacity to clean our air. Pollution impacts wildlife all around the world, from the polar bears in Arctic to fish in local watershed. Examples are exhaust fumes from vehicles burning of fossil fuels, such as coal, oil, or gas. Harmful off gassing from things such as paint, plastic product production, and so on. Radiation spills or nuclear accidents. Congratulations, Cara. That's a B minus for reading off a paper. Hi guys, my name is Jackson Staple. Today I will be speaking on the topic of biodiversity and its importance in the world. Biodiversity, generally speaking, is the variety and variability of life on Earth. Everything on Earth is different, and really this is because of biodiversity, and biodiversity in itself allows for genetic variety. Without biodiversity, species would not have certain adaptations to adapt to an ever-changing environment. A good example of biodiversity, however, is the bacteria and fish in a pond. All of these allow for biodiversity. Having biodiversity means that a species can generally recover from something like an environmental disaster much more quicker and faster and really adapt. Hey, I'm Dakota and today I will... <laughs> hey, I'm Dakota and today I will be explaining human impact on habitat loss. To start with, habitat loss poses the greatest threat to species. The world's forests, lakes, and wetlands, along with other habitats, are disappearing due to industrial development, such as pipelines, houses, and roads. Without a plan to create more protected areas, we will continue to lose habitats. You can't right, see. Flip it around and flip it around. All right, guys. So another example of keystone species would be something kind of like grass, all right? Because without grass, we couldn't have deer. We couldn't have cattle. We couldn't have all sorts of stuff that we eat. Or animals like that. And then that would negatively affect us greatly. So the basic meaning of a keystone species is uh, any any species that other species greatly depend on. Without that species, it would negatively impact them very badly and they might go extinct. Yeah, you got one? Where is it at? Hmm? The boot pad. The boot pad? What's the boot pad? Oh, boot pad and boob hat. I like your boobs better than boobs. <laughs>